Welcome to Nonatuck Resource Associates Fire Safety Training, based on information from the U.S. Fire Administration and Federal Emergency Management Agency. This training will cover the following areas, smoke alarms, escape planning, candle fire safety, cooking safety, home heating and fireplace safety, electrical fire safety, fire extinguishers, smoking and fire safety, and bedroom fire safety. Smoke alarms. What types of smoke alarms are available? There are two. There's ionization and photoelectric. Every residence should be equipped with both ionization and photoelectric smoke alarms or dual sensor smoke alarms, which contain both ionization and photoelectric smoke sensors. What powers a smoke alarm? A disposable 9-volt battery or non-replaceable 10-year lithium long-life battery, or the smoke alarms are hardwired into the house's electrical system. Are smoke alarms expensive? Ionization and photoelectric smoke alarms cost between $6 and $20. Dual sensor smoke alarms cost between $24 and $40. Install smoke alarms in key areas of your home. Every level of your home, including the basement, should have smoke alarms. Smoke and deadly gases rise, so installation at proper levels of the home is crucial. Some fire departments will install battery-operated smoke alarms in your home at no cost. Hardwired smoke alarms should be installed by a qualified professional. Smoke alarm maintenance. A smoke alarm only works when it is properly installed and maintained. Smoke alarms powered by a 9 volt battery. Test the alarm monthly. Replace the batteries at least once per year, and the entire smoke alarm unit should be replaced every 8 to 10 years. Smoke alarms powered by a 10-year lithium or long-life battery. Test the alarm monthly. Since you cannot and should not replace the lithium battery, the entire smoke alarm unit should be replaced according to manufacturer's instructions. Smoke alarm that is wired into the home's electrical system. Test the alarm monthly. The backup battery should be replaced at least once per year, and the entire smoke alarm unit should be replaced every eight to 10 years. Never disable a smoke alarm or remove the battery while cooking. Instead, open a window or door and press the hush button. Wave a towel at the alarm to clear the air. Move the entire alarm several feet away from the location. Fire escape planning. Prepare and practice an escape route with the entire family. Find two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out. This in could include a window into a neighboring roof or a collapsible ladder for escape from upper story windows. Make sure that windows are not stuck and screens can be taken out quickly. Practice feeling your way out of the house in the dark or with your eyes closed. Additional precautions, escape planning tips. Immediately leave the home. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Once out, stay out. Conduct regular fire safety walkthroughs of your home. Candle fire safety, candle statistics, and candle fire safety tips. Avoid using lighted candles. If you use candles, ensure that they are in sturdy metal, glass, or ceramic holders and placed where they cannot be easily knocked down. Keep candles out of the reach of children and pets. Set a good example by using matches, lighters, and fire carefully. Children should never be allowed to play with matches, lighters, or candles. Never leave the house with candles burning. Extinguish candles after use. 
never leave burning candles unattended. Cooking fire safety. Choose the right equipment and use it properly. Always use cooking equipment tested and approved by a recognized testing facility. Follow manufacturer's instructions and code requirements when installing and operating cooking equipment. Plug microwave oven and other cooking appliances directly into an outlet. Never use an extension cord for cooking appliances as it can overload the circuit and cause a fire. Use barbecue grills safely. Position the grill well away from siding, deck railings, and out from under eaves and overhanging branches. Periodically remove grease or fat buildup in trays below the grill so it cannot be ignited by a hot grill. Use the grill only outdoors. If indoors or in any enclosed spaces such as tents, barbecue grills pose both a fire hazard and the risk of exposing occupants to carbon monoxide. Charcoal grills. Purchase the proper starter fluid and store out of reach of children and away from heat sources. Never add charcoal starter fluid when coals or kindling have already been ignited and never use flammable or combustible liquid other than charcoal starter fluid. Propane grills. Check propane cylinder hoses for leaks before using it for the first time each year. A light soap and water solution applied to the hose will reveal escaping propane quickly by releasing bubbles. Never store propane cylinders in buildings or garages. Watch what you heat. The leading cause of fires in the kitchen is unattended cooking. Use a timer to remind you that you are cooking and stay alert. Keep things that can catch fire in heat sources apart. Pot holders, oven mitts, wooden utensils, paper and plastic bags, towels and curtains can all catch fire. Keep the stovetop, burners and oven clean. Keep your pets off the countertops and wear short, close fitting or tightly rolled sleeves when cooking. Protecting children from scalds and burns. Establish a kid-free zone with three-foot parameter around the stove. Keep hot foods, liquids away from countertops and table edges. Use the back burner when possible and teach children that hot things burn. Preventing scalds and burns. Use the back burner when possible. Appliance cords need to be kept coiled and away from counter edges. Always use mitts or pot holders. Wet oven mitts and pot holders can cause scalding burns and treat burns right away. How and when to fight cooking fires. When in doubt, just get out. Close the door behind you to contain the fire and call 911. If you choose to fight the fire, make sure others and you have a clear path to exit. Small grease fire. Carefully slide a lid over the pan, turn off the burner and wait until cool. Always wear an oven mitt. Oven fire. Turn off the heat and keep the oven door closed. Microwave fire. Turn off immediately and keep the door closed. Unplug if it's possible. After a fire, all appliances should be serviced before being used again. Home heating and fireplace safety. Check your hot spots. Annually, fire claims the lives of 3,500 Americans. People in rural areas are more than twice as likely to die in a fire than those living in mid-sized suburban areas. Common risks include wood stoves, space heaters, and kerosene heaters. Wood stoves. Wood stoves annually cause over 4,000 residential fires. Carefully follow the manufacturer's installation and maintenance instructions and use only seasoned wood fuel. Electric space heaters. Make sure that the electrical space heater has a thermostat mechanism and will turn off automatically if it falls over. Do not dry clothes on top of a space heater and always unplug it when not in use. Kerosene heaters. 
Use only crystal clear K1 kerosene. Never fill your heater with gasoline or camp stove fuel. Both flare up easily. Use only in well-ventilated rooms. Fireplaces. Fireplaces should be cleaned and inspected regularly for obstructions to prevent chimney and roof fires. Never burn trash, paper, or green wood in your fireplace. Use a heavy enough screen to stop rolling logs and catch flying sparks. Store cooled ashes in a tightly sealed metal container outside your home. Electrical fire safety. The causes of electrical fires. Fixed wiring, such as faulty electrical outlets and old wiring, cause electrical fires. Problems with cords, receptacles, plugs, and switches also cause such fires. Light fixtures, lamps, and light bulbs can cause fires. And overloading circuits, poor maintenance, and of course, running cords under a rug can cause fires. Safety precautions. Routinely check electrical appliances and wiring. Replace all worn, old, or damaged appliance cords immediately. Use safety closures to child-proof electrical outlets. Never overload extension cords or electrical outlets and pay special attention to electrical appliances in the bathroom and kitchen. Fire extinguishers, how to use. Please click on the link here to watch a short video on how to use a fire extinguisher. Remember the phrase pass, which is pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Fire extinguishers continued. Types of fire extinguishers. There's class A, class B, class D, class K extinguishers. Class A extinguishers put out fires in ordinary combustible materials such as cloth, wood, rubber, paper, and many plastics. Class B extinguishers are used on fires involving flammable liquids such as grease, gasoline, oil, and oil-based paints. Class D extinguishers are suitable for use on fires involving appliances, tools, or other equipment that is electrically energized or plugged in. Class D extinguishers are also used on flammable materials that are often specific for the type of metal in question. These are typically found only in factories working with these metals. Class K extinguishers are used for fires involving vegetable oils, animal oils, or fats and cooking appliances. These are mainly found in commercial kitchens. Use a fire extinguisher only if you have exited other occupants and someone has called the fire department, the fire is small and contained to a single object, such as a wastebasket, you are safe from toxic smoke produced by the fire, and you have a means of escape identified and the fire is not between you and the escape route. Your instincts tell you that it is safe to use the extinguisher. Maintenance. Fire extinguishers need to be regularly checked to ensure that the extinguisher is not blocked by furniture doorways or anything that might limit access to it in an emergency. The pressure is at the recommended level. Most have gauges that indicate when pressure is too high or too low. All parts are operable and not damaged or restricted in any way. Make sure the hoses and nozzles are free of insects and debris. The outside of the extinguisher is clean. Remove any oil or grease that might accumulate on the exterior. Smoking and fire safety. Smoking and home fire action steps. If you smoke, smoke outside. Whenever you smoke, use deep, sturdy ashtrays. Make sure cigarettes and ashes are out. Check for cigarette butts on the ground. Never smoke in a home where oxygen is used. If you smoke, fire safe cigarettes are better and be alert. Bedroom fire safety. Bedrooms are the most common place in the home where electrical fires start. This is especially true during winter months when indoor activities increase, as well as lighting, heating, and appliance use. 
Do not trap electrical cords against walls where heat can build up. Take extra care when using portable heaters. Keep bedding, clothes, curtains, and other combustible items at least three feet from space heaters. Use only lab-approved electric blankets and warmers. Check to make sure cords are not frayed. Please complete this fire safety quiz and thank you.